Scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try again, try again. <laughs> now, Carol unfortunately had that dress which hid every single mistake. I actually wanted to wear a dress to hide my feet touch. because it's tricky. Uh, then touch. Oh, what can I say? Oh, my there. foot is there. still recovering okay, from my button. accident. Too bad I couldn't oh, go. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're really disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, so the left foot, uh, that was my problem. As Carolyn said, the professionals, they make it look really easy, but it takes years to get as good as they are. And you're going to see just how good in just a moment. Raices y Alas is a dance company that has returned to go right across the island, offering flamenco workshops and public shows at arts and culture centers everywhere. And one of the lead dancers, actually from St. John's, after Andrea Williams gave us our dance lesson, Carolyn and I asked how flamenco became such a big, passionate part of her life. My name is Andrea Williams and I'm originally from St. John's and I first discovered flamenco in southern France. I came across a pilgrimage of what we would call gitanos in a small town called Sainte-Marie-de-la-Mer and I just fell in love with the music. And I came back to St. John's and at the ship there was this lovely group called El Viento Flamenco that were performing and I said, this is great, here's two worlds colliding. Next thing you know, I'm in Vancouver and I'm in a flamenco dance company there. And now I have the chance to bring that beautiful form of art that we've developed in Vancouver back to St. John's. I think for me, it started with the music. It's a kind of music that kind of eats you from the inside. It's very hard to sit still when you're listening to flamenco music. There's a raw energy to it. The music comes from the suffering of a people, the struggle of a people, and the oppression that they experienced. And it grows out of that, and then from that sort of very deep pit of despair comes this beautiful music that resonates on so many levels across the board. And you don't have to be Spanish to understand the, what they are transmitting through the music. The emotion is there. People often say that uh, flamenco dancers are some of the most sexy dancers, but really what we're doing is we're using our entire bodies to dance. So we take the music and we express it physically. So you'll see some dancers who have a very, very serious uh, nature to their dance. You'll often see a change in expression in their face because they are embodying on all levels the form of dance. And then other forms in flamenco you will see the, the sort of cheekier side and that's when the sort of the adjective sexy comes out because we move our hips, we use our hands very frequently, uh, there's uh, often kind of gestures that uh, with the eyes as well, so we're using everything. When you finish a show or a workshop and you look back at what you have either taught or performed, how do you feel? Exhilarated. Teaching is such a rewarding thing, and teaching flamenco especially, because you can see somebody who may have had no dance experience whatsoever pick up just a tiny bit, and the change in their face and the change in their confidence level, just, it drives you home. It's great. Mm -hmm. 